All right, guys, we are back. And let me tell you, it just got real uh, for Canelo Alvarez and Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, you guys know the fight, uh, Jaime Mugia taking on, well, Canelo Alvarez versus Jaime Mugia this weekend uh, for the undisputed 168-pound titles uh, is set to take place at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, uh, this fight, I would say, you know, it didn't have a lot of buzz because a lot of people wanted Canelo Alvarez to face David Benavidez. It, it, you, you guys know that. I don't have to say it, but I, I'm just saying it for the video purposes. Uh, me personally, I wanted that fight. I, I wanted uh, Canelo versus Terrence Bell Crawford. A lot of you guys know that. But I, I really didn't have a problem uh, with this fight with him and Jaime Mugia. I, I thought, you know, I, I think it's a competitive fight. I think it's a competitive fight. And uh, I don't really have any problems with it. Now, if he would have faced Berlanga or or Jamal Charlo, yeah, I, you know, I would have scoffed at it. But Jaime Mungia, I think he's a formidable opponent. Now, it got real at the press conference today between Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo Alvarez. And let me say this, uh, Oscar De La Hoya just sold this fight. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya is... Uh, I would say he's playing chess right now, not checkers, with the comments he made uh, at the podium at the press conference today. So I want to play what he had to say, guys, and uh, give you guys my take on this whole situation uh, surrounding Oscar De La Hoya and uh, Canelo Alvarez. So let me play this real quick. All right, guys, so that was Oscar De La Hoya. He, he, he didn't hold back on Canelo Alvarez. And Canelo Alvarez, of course, got up from his chair. He kind of confronted Oscar, and, you know, everybody jumped in between the two. And uh, I, I think the thing that really angered Canelo Alvarez was the failing the two drug tests uh, comment. Uh, anytime someone brings up him failing those drug tests, it... Canelo gets heated. We saw the same thing with him and Caleb Sweethan's uh, plant. Uh, it got up under his skin when he talked about that. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya, like I said, he's playing chess here. He's trying to get Canelo off of his game. And uh, it seems to be working in a sense where Canelo is outside of his character right now. Now, as far as the fight goes, uh, some of you guys know, some of you may not know, I, I do have Canelo Alvarez picked to win this fight. I think the fight it will be competitive. Uh, just watching Jaime Munguia's last fight with John Ryder and how he stopped John Ryder and how he was using his jab more. And uh, his defense was a little bit tighter than it was when he was facing off against Derby Chanko. He was there to get hit. But I think uh, Freddie Roach has, you know, added some new tools to his arsenal. So, uh, and he the kid has a chin on him. The kid does have a chin on him. And he has power. So I, I think it will be a competitive matchup. And if, if Canelo's not taking this guy seriously, yeah, he he can upset, you know, he, he can have a 
I would say he can upset the apple cart. But looking at Canelo Alvarez, I think he is the more skilled of the two. Of course, you know, there's the uh, experience factor and being on the big stage. Uh, I just think Canelo Alvarez is, you know, up, above Jaime Munguia when it comes to the fight game. No no slight to Jaime Munguia, by the way. I, I think he's a good fighter. But uh, this stuff with him and Oscar, you know, I, I, I'm not privy to what actually happened uh, behind the scenes when, you know, when Canelo was with Golden Boy. But it, this is definitely real. This is not a tank uh, and Floyd Mayweather thing where, you know, the beef starts uh, soon as a fight comes up. This is extremely bad blood between the two. And, and Oscar, like I said, he's trying to get Canelo Alvarez off of his game. Now, I, I hear a lot of people talking about, well, we want to see Canelo versus Oscar De La Hoya. I would say this, in a fight like that today, uh, Canelo Alvarez will probably clobber Oscar De La Hoya. But I would say this, if Oscar was in his prime, I, I don't think Canelo Alvarez will stand a chance. I think Oscar was a lot better in his prime, and I think he fought better competition than Canelo Alvarez has. And uh, so I think, you know, if it was on an even playing field, uh, you know, age-wise, uh, I would have to give the edge to Oscar in the fight. But right now, yeah, Canelo Alvarez would definitely smoke Oscar De La Hoya. And here's the thing, uh, you know, you can't really knock what Oscar said in a sense. You know, he did kind of build Canelo Alvarez, uh, even though, you know, they don't, you know, see eye to eye. Uh, he said Canelo was been talking about him for the last two months. I'm assuming that it's interviews and things like that. And, you know, we've, we've heard Oscar say stuff in interviews, but I've never seen Oscar confront, you know, Canelo Alvarez like this. You know, he's always, you know, kind of, been hush hush about it but you know he he actually got up there and uh you know like i said he went straight for the juggler on canelo alvarez and i think that's making this uh this fight a, a lot more interesting uh and a lot of people are tuning in a lot of people are talking about it now online but uh you guys tell me what you think about this situation uh did this sell the fight for you uh would you like to see canelo alvarez versus oscar de la hoya uh I'm curious to see what happens at the weigh-in. Uh, man, it, you know, crazy times in boxing, guys. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think uh, about this in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.